Welcome to Wadland Stadium, the venue for what is expected to be. And this uh, the uh, respect uh, uh, pushing forward in uh, uh, a formation that suggests that uh, they will not make it the the tradition. And um, it is uh, Zesko of uh, of uh, not uh, as uh, he gets aided by Captain John Chingandu, characterized uh, these uh, two sides' journeys uh, to the final. And uh, in a competition like this, uh, you, as an opponent, you wait for mistakes of uh, your, uh, the team you're playing against. So, um, and that is what uh, it's uh, going to be in as far as uh, this is concerned. Free kick in the early stages, and that was uh, uh, Kelvin uh, uh, Kampamba. And uh, Muka, sun is great, atmosphere is uh, fantastic. Of course, we don't have the fans, but the game itself gives you the right kind of mood. Most certainly, absolute pleasure to be doing the final with you, Franklin. And of course, uh, watching arguably the best two sides in the league thus far. Yes, the table doesn't say that because the Saka Dynamos are not number two on the log, but boy, oh boy, they have an abundance of talent and the technical bench is just second to none. So it's a final to serve up. The team that has won it six times, taking on a side that has been told if they win it, it all stays with them in terms of the finances anyways. Well, that's an interesting one. So for Lusaka Dynamos, if that promise holds true, then they're, they're, they're playing uh, to getting everything um, because the sponsor says uh, if, if you win it, it is for you to share. So it doesn't get bigger than that. In fact, uh, you could say that uh, the prize money is as competitive as the prize money that uh, a league champion gets. In fact, even better, 600,000 is uh, something that's more than an incentive, more so that the player of the tournament will pick up 25,000, man of the match, uh, coach of the tournament as well, 25,000. So, in most cases, it's always the player of the tournament will be the player that would have played more games. So I would expect that the coach of the tournament will come from these two coaches. I would expect that the player of the tournament will come from uh, the 22 players on the field of uh, play at the moment. Well, that's an interesting one. Or maybe someone on the bench. <laughs> Who knows? It depends on whether you come on and shine and uh, outdo everybody else. So serving up each other here at uh, Woodland Stadium, an excellent facility uh, which um, has uh, everybody comfortable in uh, this uh, particular uh, setup uh, um, in, uh, uh, here in uh, Lusaka. And um, the two sides will not want to make any f errors in the uh, very early stages. As of course, uh, uh, Zesco United are the record uh, winners. Uh, won it back to back in 2007 and 8. Uh, they had a hand on it in 2010. Had another grab in 2014. In 2016, 2019, the, the defending champions. Uh, remember that the 2019-2020 edition uh, was uh, cancelled. Back to uh, goalkeeper here in uh, the setup where the two sides are being uh, rather careful, maybe too careful uh, at the moment, not wanting to open up. But uh, you can understand the need uh, for caution. It's got to be uh, technical. And Lusaka Dynamos with uh, what uh, could be a famous win against the most uh, successful club in uh, this uh, competition. The only cup competition in the country, it's uh, got to be said. And it's been going stronger and stronger. And it's uh, Winston Kalengo now pushing and uh, looking for support. Uh, he's uh, looking for the referee's attention uh, for a possible infringement, uh, but uh, Janice Kazwe is not having any of that. I was mentioning that uh, the referees today will not be in the spaces of being so dummies because the likes of Diana Chikoteshi are seasoned. Uh, referee Gianni Skazue as well. So it's interesting that we've, we've probably, we're probably seeing the very best that the league has to offer, not only in terms of players, but also with everything around this match. 
the best yet to come. Five minutes of uh, settling, and uh, you expect the match to start opening up uh, because at the end of the day, whether one likes it or not, there will be a winner and uh, a loser, victors and the vanquished. This is uh, Kampamba He's fighting for the ball. And uh, ball going out, uh, throw in uh, to Lusaka Dynamos. Paul Banda uh, to take uh, care of it. In fact, a free kick, that's where the referee uh, wants it. And it's uh, quickly been taken by uh, the elite side. Foul. Free kick. And the guilty one on this occasion is uh, Collins uh, Sikombe. And Lusaka Dynamos. has had uh, some uh, good and uh, interesting uh, history starting off uh, in as far as uh, the pressure is concerned uh, an attempt to give the ball to Jesse Wery Motosi the Sagadana must know that the battle is won and lost in the in the midfield This is Simon Silwimba pushing the ball forward, looking for Winston. As it is, the back line for Lusaka Dynamos uh, alive uh, to the danger that the veteran uh, poses. Keeping the ball in play, Collins. Sending to the far side, trying to uh, find Aubrey Funga, who keeps the ball in play. No good control. It's uh, Winston Kalengo. And running and asking for the ball is Chingandu, but the goalkeeper doesn't get uh, too much uh, trouble from that uh, effort. Kalengo knows how to shoot the ball very nicely. Mukuka. And out the ball. Cooper, that communication there, I think Zesco exploiting that pocket. And you can see the pressure that's coming in quickly. Corner kick. No one there. Kalengo tries to keep it in play. He is uh, successful in that uh, regard. Shows the ball very nicely. But Lusaka Dynamos uh, take over. And they have to be successful in transition. They're disturbed in that uh, floor. Throw in to the elite side. Quickly taken. It is Kelvin Camp Campamba who will be important uh, for Lusaka Dynamos on the onslaught. But on the other side, Luvamba Moyela will be getting in in that uh, fray. Quickly taken in uh, that uh, corner is uh, back uh, to the defense in Solomon uh, Sakala and Saka Dynamos just know that uh, they have to take uh, the chance uh, once it comes uh, their way but they're knocking the ball around and the target more often than not, will be Winston uh, Kalengo and pushing for the opener. A lot of experience in this uh, Zesco United side. I mean, it's oozing with victors who know how to win trophies. But I have a lot of interest in uh, Mwila Piri Jr. and Chanda Mukuka. It's good to see that they've been put in the side. And probably that's what Lusaka Dynamos can try to use to exploit Zesco. Mukuka. That's a good move from Zesco United. Just needed uh, Chingandu or indeed uh, Winston Kalengo to have a touch. And that uh, flag will go up against uh, Luvamba Moyela for Lusaka Dynamos. And uh, an interesting uh, uh, interchange of passes there by uh, Zesco United. And now Simon uh, uh, Silwimba, he slips in the process, does himself a disservice. And that ball is uh, easy uh, for... Mongandala to pick. 
Well, Sulimba just uh, miscues his pass there. Uh, doesn't often score goals, but a few weeks back, I think three weeks ago, he did score a goal, a winner, when they took on Zanako, uh, the team that uh, is chasing them uh, to not pick up that title. But it's Zesco United who've been in a destructive form in the recent past 10 games, and they've not dropped points. They've been scoring goals for fun. They have the meanest defense in the league. And boy, oh boy, that front line of uh, the likes of Winston Kalengo, John Chingandu and Jackson Jesse Were. We've not seen a lot from Kelvin Mwanga Kampamba. Looking for the inro. This is the Kapumbu. He's got a chance, but uh, being well marked. Mwila Piri. He makes a mistake, and Lusaka Dynamos uh, can't take over. Colin Sikombe is clever, and uh, that uh, effort just speaks volumes as to what will happen if uh, Zesco United take their eyes off the ball, because that pass to Luwamba, Luwamba Moyela, well checked. And I've been saying that it's Mwilapiri Jr. and Chandamukuka who might be the weak links for this Zesco side. And uh, Chandamukuka just failed to hold on to the ball. That pass from Colin Skombe, I would have thought that he would have probably gone for Aubrey Funga. Jesse yes. Were is uh, disturbed because uh, he would have loved to have that ball straight on his boots. But Zesco United managed to keep the ball in play over a hit to find a Kampamba. Will he beat his marker? He... Almost does, but in the process, I think there's a push and it's going to be a free kick to Lusaka Dynamos. He's not kicked into gear yet, but this man here is a marvel to watch. Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba. He can produce something out of nothing. Adrian Chama will have to really pay attention to Moyela. Moyela has uh, come in in the recent past as uh, a target man. Of course, uh, Lusaka Dynamos had the likes of uh, Chris Mugalu playing a few seasons back they've always had the traditional number nine and uh, they bought adam zikiru but he's been injured and they've not really had consistency in that number nine role but that hasn't stopped them from scoring goals uh, they scored three in the semi-final against zanako and today they'll be looking to score the necessary goals to take them over the line motisi was uh, a player who put in Man of the match performance, the Mini Cooper. But right now he looks at C because that midfield of Lusaka Dynamos, I don't think is gelling the way they wanted it to from the start of the game. Jesse Were being well policed, not uh, really having uh, the space that uh, he so requires. But here he tracks uh, back to Lusaka Dynamos who line up uh, to get uh, the free kick. Quickly taken. Mushure. And now there's a bit of promise with this move. Lusaka Dynamos, but it's a final delivery that is disappointing. Colin Scombe just needed to put icing on the cake and he fluffs it. Look, nicely backed by the Zimbabwean Mushiri through the channel. Nice little one-two pass. I think the Zimbabwean is waiting for the corner. You know what he does with corners. He makes, <laughs> well, he makes goalkeepers well, go crazy. Everybody will certainly have to be aware of that. Uh, talk about uh, uh, Zesco United. Uh, there will be... A throw in, however, whether it will be taken long into the box is another matter. No, it is not because it's played short uh, to Kelvin. Uh, and, uh, the final ball to try and reach uh, Jesse Wery is uh, poor. It will go out uh, for a uh, throw in. This is uh, Oshin Mushure sending it uh, forward. Effort is to try and get uh, Sikombe. Free kick. So chasing the first uh, 15 minutes, it is as has been expected, uh, a KG affair, and both sides being well prepared in uh, that uh, regard. And you expect that uh, the team will, the game will open up more and more and uh, expect that uh, there will be something that will give and that is just uh, the reality of uh, this uh, particular match as the match ends uh, with a winner and indeed a loser the second animals it's uh, Aubrey Funga finds Mushure he's the first time but he wasn't expecting maybe at that height 
well also not not this necessary reaction that he would have loved to see from Marvin Jarrett. Marvin very lethargic in that run. There are a few players who are standing out already. You can see they're putting in an extra effort. But there's some players who don't necessarily come to the party. Oh, that's a clever ball. But uh, it is short-lived affair which uh, found Chandemukuka. Uh, Lusaka Dynamo is doing well in winning uh, the uh, second ball and uh, been doing that consistently. Moyela just uh, really well, creates daylight between him and the defender. Because when Aubrey Funga came in, he was looking for a little one-two pass as he's running through the channel. But Moyela not on the same wavelength as the player. And sometimes it's because they've not played together for a while. Mayenge, his uh, effort is not uh, well read. That will be Ian Otieno's ball. Will take his time, rolls it. As this could start the match from the back, Kapumbu, he will toss it to try and find uh, Jesse Wery or indeed uh, Kalengo, but uh, Osaka Dynamos have done their work. Now this is Colin Sikombe. Silwimba is there to disturb him and successfully so. Well, Simon says Collins is going nowhere. Well, and it happens. That was very good reaction from him. Very good reaction. And that's what you need to do as a defender. Try to cover up for your teammate because Adrian Chama was at sea there. This is Mukoka, Zesco United. That one to just not working in the final third because that is where Jesse Were became Ocean Mushure for the throw in. And now, this is uh, Moyela. He's got company. Support from Jerry, who manages to take the ball into that 18. And uh, Zesco United momentarily living dangerously in this Absa Cup final. And Lusaka Dana was looking to control the proceedings. Moyela once again. Will he shoot? He does. He just dragged the shot there, Moyela. He had three for company in front. And maybe he should have... Uh made a step further inwards uh, what uh, will be happy with what he's seen so far it's the soccer dynamos ironically enough who look more likely to score because they're having the clear of the chances Zesco united as i said uh, when we're doing the match analysis for me it takes them a while to get out of first gear so let's see what numba has in store for us in this final it's got to be said the soccer dynamos looking hungry at the moment a little bit more danger coming uh, from them although the Goalkeepers have not yet been tested. You just can't get the feel that uh, Zika Dynamos might just uh, score first. But then this is football, and anything is bound to happen. Aubrey Funga intercepts the ball well and manages to keep it in play. And Zika Dynamos now come. The elite side are getting closer and closer, but gets stopped in the final third. And they should have to make another plan in trying to penetrate that uh, back line. They're going too direct. You can penetrate from the flank as well. I think there was a run uh, on the right side of Rebri Funga. He would have done well to just look over his shoulder. And uh, Seladami obviously drop a left shoulder and hope to pass the ball through the channel. But it's Lusaka Dynamos who are more enterprising in the last 20 minutes. Yes, they've not dominated play. Yes, the cohesion is not as well as Zesco. But Zesco are not threatening Mongandala and Lusaka Dynamos. It's Dynamos who are playing the more positive football and look likely to score. Throw in uh, to... Zesco United, this ball coming after very, very good ball control and skill from Cooper Motusi in the midfield. Throw in, it is Mwila Piri. Adjian Chama. Looking for options. Finding Chandamukuka, who loses the ball to Marvin Jerry. It's the Saka Dynamos that are doing well in... Uh, ball winning in that midfield Muka. yes they certainly are i think they're fast to every second ball and it shows their hunger and their determination they're, they're, they're very positive with their attitude look at how they're throwing the body into the line of fire jerry strike just uh, off the mark and there is a, an air of appreciation from uh, the efforts that the seem to be making well, Murphy, Jerry, earlier on, we had uh, 
Moyela, they're rushing their shots. They need to open up slightly more because Zisco United are not really running at the strikers of Lusaka Dynamos. When a Lusaka Dynamo striker has the ball, they're not going to pounce on them. So they can take a step or two and just shoot in range. Kapumbu, he whips the ball into the 18, finds Mkuka, who tries to be clever in flicking the ball to try and get to Winston Kalengo. That doesn't happen. It's Zesco United now uh, maybe realizing that uh, it is Osaka Dynamo that seem to want the ball a little bit more. Chance perhaps for Osaka Dynamo's yet again to uh, put uh, pressure, which uh, they have been doing, save for the disappointment in the final third. Otieno, throw in uh, to the elite uh, side, a side that is yet to win the Absa Cup, let alone... Uh, the Osaka Dynamos have come very close and sometimes it's boardroom decisions because when there was a transitional window, they mathematically won one division when we're supposed to play in the final. But obviously, a lot of boardroom decisions they normally have come close to doing stuff. Jesse Warren's ball to Kalengo, and that was the danger. And uh, that's uh, what they'll keep on uh, trying to do. The chemistry between Wery and Kalengo, well, clear for all to see. He remains that uh, imminent threat. Jesse Wery through the center. The reaction from Magenge not there. Uh, Jerry not helping the situation either. But it's the Zimbabwean who comes with the cleanup sometimes. You just need dad to come and show you cleanliness. And that's what Mushiri does. He just whips the ball. Reminds me of uh, the olden days. You want to elaborate on that? Well, the coach would tell you, Chimochisale party ball and a player. So in that instance, Mushiri just wanted to clear the ball anywhere but close to Mongandala. Thanks for the clarity. Ball in play. This is Fax and Kapumbu. It's the Absa Cup final. And uh, Chandam Kuka plays it backwards to Solomon Sakala, who has to decide. Looks up. Zesco United trying to get uh, the spaces, the opportunities uh, up front. Jesse Wery with a little clever ball to Simon Silwimba. This is Winston Kalengo. Will he pass it? John Chingandu, who just needed good control on that ball. He's got Silwimba for support who whips it into the box, and the dangerous uh, uh, figure in uh, Winston Kalengo. The Saka Dynamo is looking for their first Absa Cup glory as uh, Zesco tried to extend their lead, their dominance in this uh, competition, the only cup competition in Zambia. Doesn't get better than this. Chingandu, no push, weary. Clever ball to John Chingandu, the captain. Where he has a little touch, but it's uh, Lusaka Dynamo that show much interest in it. Duncan Otieno played nicely. Free. These two teams have got uh, international players. I mean, the Zimbabwean Mushiri uh, also called up to play with his national team uh, a few months back. So it's one of those things where. I think they're respecting each other too much. I, I don't expect goals in the first half. Uh, maybe an odd goal if there's a mistake made somewhere. But I think this game will be decided in the second half. I mean, I, 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 I can be obviously wrong because we do have about 20 minutes to go. But on account of what I've seen so far, I reckon they're respecting each other too much, you know? Well, that's something worthy of note. Uh, remember that uh, for Wetsen Yurenda, He's won this before, but uh, he indicated that Numba is a clever coach, in his own words. So there is a respect uh, for Numba Mumamba. Kutisi Cooper playing so deep in that role, and I would have thought that he was going to play slightly closer up to the likes of uh, Aubrey Funga and Colin Skombe to provide Moyela with support, because that man... That's the only way he will be troubled. When Mutusi plays deep, we don't see his creativity. And one of the reasons why he had a possible man of the match performance 
when uh, Obrifunga won it against Zanako. It's because he was playing in a more advanced role. So right now we're not seeing the creativity and his passes are being forced because now he has to kick it long and wide and sometimes he gets it wrong. I think Motusi is one of those players who plays very well if it's little one, two triangle passes in and around the middle of the pack going into the final third. He's certainly a sublime player. Now here comes the chance here. Zesco United feel the pressure. Oh, but so... Brilliant defending from Chama. Oshin Mushuri, he's dangerous with corner kicks. It's almost always curling in. Another chance for Lusaka Dynamos. Save this time, it will be a uh, throw in. But uh -huh. it might be long. Will it be in the box? No. It's decided against that. Zesco United will just let the ball go out but i think there was a mistaken there was a last touch <laughs> mistaken claim there there was a last touch and the last touch uh definitely came from adrian chama so it will be a corner kick for mixed judgment or poor judgment <laughs> on that okay I, I, I don't know if you've noticed franklin this was like a dynamo side is getting into 50 50 chances they're really throwing everything in well, there certainly are. Colin Sikombe's corner kick. It's going to be another one. This is uh, pressure. Now, remember, with corner kicks, the ball can go either direction. It's half chance for everybody, for both sides. Here comes. It is uh, Sikombe with another attempt. Will he do it better this time? I think he did worse. He wouldn't want to watch the reviews to this game. Well, in a cup competition, you take every chance. And a corner is by every stretch of an imagination, a goal-scoring opportunity. Absolutely. Because you can do a training drill where you hit it inward and then you shoot. In fact, Arsenal Football Club, this season, under Arteta, employed a coach to just help them with set plays. Corner kicks, free kicks, and you can see what that has done to translate into the number of goals for the team. So corners should not really be taken for granted anywhere in the world. Well, that's uh, so true. There is an infringement. It's going to be the Saka Dynamo's uh, free kick. We are saying hello to the first uh, 30 minutes of the match. And like Muka said, two sides giving a lot of respect uh, to each other. So hardly any uh, errors uh, that are being made. The man marking is uh, working. The Saka Dynamo's, well, it's got to be said, showing much, a uh, little bit more hunger. They're fighting for every second ball. Uh, we have not had much luck in the final third. This is what to see. He shows too much of the ball and Zesco United can take advantage. Oh, that will not go unpunished. Well, we might see the first yellow of the match and uh, Colin Scombe really opens that door for the naughty list. Skombe just goes straight into the back of uh, Yang Chanda Mukuka. And is rewarded <laughs> with a yellow card. Zesko now tried to push in the chance for opportunities. This is Kelvin Kampamba. He's weaving through that chance here for Zesko United. What a chance. The Zimbabwean on song. Kelvin Mwanga Kampamba puts in one of those telling balls, but it's the Zimbabwean once again who clears up and cleans up after that defense. Look at how he makes the run. Mwanga Kampamba with a little one two runs into the pocket. You almost know what's going to happen. Jesse Wera is waiting for a tap in. Corner kick as uh, Zesco United try to get it. Little nice run from Kelvin Mangakampamba. One two pass with Chingandu. The ball just needs the right touch. But it's the Zimbabwean who would have easily provided an on goal there, who clears the lines and hits it with his knee. And the ball goes out for a corner. Two clearances from Ocean's Mashiri now. And oh, uh, that was very, very mature of uh, Ocean Mushuri. There was a risk, you're right. That could have been an own goal. But he had good intention and he knew his uh, leg would change the trajectory of the ball because the goalkeeper was well beaten. 
Most certainly. Well, it looks like uh, that love affair between uh, Moyela and uh, Simon Sidwimba continues. They're still hugging like it's uh, 4th of uh, February. It's the, Absa is it? it's the Absa Cup final. Zesco United having come close to scoring through Kelvin Kampamba. They want to build on that. We played back to the goalkeeper through Adrian Chama. He doesn't uh, hold on to it. It's Solomon Sakala now. Mila Piri searching ball only to land in enemy territory. This is the Saka Dynamos. They've been doing well in winning the ball. Sikombe is there, but goalkeeper will have an easy pick and quickly roll the ball to the captain in Chingandu. Pushing for the first opener. There's a bit of panic as Zesco United seem to want to go into a second gear. Throw in to the defending champions. Actually, the Saka Dynamos look like they were looking to claim that one there, but it's the defending champions who get it with Slimba. Play on, the referee says. The Ocean, Mushure. What are these ideas? He shows too much. Imagine wasting the ball in such an, a chance where he just needed to be calm. After all the good work in the back, he does a bad job up front. Zesco can take advantage of this. Jesse Jackson Wary brings the ball down on the volley. Looking for the audacious, the spectacular. It looked so delicious with uh, Jackson Jesse uh, Jackson Jesse Wary, and you'd almost see it. But unfortunately, he did not wrap his la his laces the right way. It was always taking a while to dip. But that's what the pendulum can do. Quickly changing, one touch gets the sting out of the ball and looks to hit it sweetly towards goal. Mongandala had it covered, but it would have been only something superb, sumptuous, that would have certainly beat Ndala in that position. I've not seen a lot of uh, Paul Banda missing like the magician Paul Calicini in this game. Well, what will worry coach uh, Wada Wada on that occasion where where is tracks it is why he's so unmarked on that occasion so a threat enough for Lusaka Dynamos to have a change in approach to the match well it's more Zesco now and I have been saying the weak link for Zesco is Chandamu Kuka and Wilapiri Jr. those two can be exploited and that's where Lusaka Dynamos needed to concentrate and it looks like an eminent change is coming for one of those two players. And my money would be on Wilapiri Jr. because Chandam Kuka has tried. Ball goes out. It's going to be a corner kick. Zesco United with the pressure. Ten minutes to play. Nil nil here at Woodland Stadium. It's the Absa Cup final. Who will take it? Who takes the 600,000 kwacha? Jesse Wery for the corner kick headed out and confidently so Mila Piri will he take the ball back Chingandu that's a good ball to Jesse Wehrer who switches flanks this is Kalengo oh the instinct is right just off target this must be worrying for coach Wetz and Yurenda. You can understand why. Growing in confidence. And you know what Wehrer is going to do? He's going to bring it inside. And Kalengo will do only one thing. One touch, hit it the second time. The goalkeeper had the near post covered. But even then, that's what Zesco can do. Wehrer moving from right to left. The ball moving away. Again, I will say, the one change that came in has been reversed. Mwila Piri Jr. comes off the Zimbabwe and Tafatsu Arisiki comes on. And this is purely to nullify the threat that Lusaka Dynamos may have. But what he also provides you is mobility. He's going to move slightly further up top. So expect Zesco United to be more enterprising in front of goal if you're a Lusaka Dynamos fan. So Tafatsu Arisiki to add his creativity. Wetson Urenda realizing that uh, much of the battle is being 
lost in that uh, midfield, so he needs more in that sense. Jesse, with uh, what you might call free roll, he's changing places. This is the substitute, Rusike. He's good on the ball, brought down, but referee playing advantage and will allow play to continue. Adrian Chama. Looks up, looking for support. Who opens up? And he'll try and find uh, Jesse Were, who is well policed by Ocean Mushure. Doesn't been a very easy partnership there, if uh, you might call it that. Goalkeeper put under pressure. Rusike. Kampambash dances around. He's got uh, protection. And that's the clever play of Kelvin. Test the goalkeeper from range. That kind of play he loves. And Mongandela was uh, steady on that occasion. Distribution is good. Marvin Jerry was the target on that occasion. Paul Banda for the throw in. Lusaka Dynamos. Nil nil it is. Seven minutes to play before going on the break. That's a back pass. Goalkeeper can't touch it. Does a good job in clearing it. Kampamba, yet again. John Chingandu, chest pass. But it almost results into an error and a pass to Colin Sikombe. But they recover very nicely and quickly. Simon Siwimba is offering help. And it is utilized from Solomon Sakala. Tafaja Ruseko tries to turn, almost loses the ball. Rosesco United, Chanda Mukuka in the midfield, Tafazo Ruseke, it's the Absa Cup final, Zesco now looking to penetrate that uh, and breach the Lusaka Dynamo's defense, Kampamba cuts in, this could be dangerous, goalkeeper comes to the party in Mongandala. Mongandala quite a let, and that ball almost not makes the goalkeeper. It's edging close. It's Zesco who turned the gear up, the move to gear two. When that ball comes in from Kelvin Mwanga Kampamba, he's only thinking about one thing, and that's putting it past the legs of uh, Mongandala. A bit lethargic. Poor Banda in that instance. In fact, it not makes his teammate. In Imagenge. Well, Nkana have conceded against Indeni. And Nkana have a new signing who started in the first 11. He goes by the name Bazo. Former power player. No love lost there. Well, it'll be interesting to see a derby with him in there. In the meantime here, it's the Absa Cup final. Lusaka Dynamos with uh, five minutes uh, to play. Colin Sikombe, he beats uh, Simon Silva, who has a little push, but referee says there's nothing wrong there. Allowing play to continue. So Johnny Sikazwe. Mushure, Tundala, who's got some invitation and presence of uh, Winston Kalengo. Chandam Kuka's header will go out uh, for Lusaka Dynamo's uh, throw in. A tricky KG affair in the first uh, 40 minutes of this match. Ball sent to the far side, but it meets uh, Faxon Kapumbu. Lusaka Dynamo's Makanisa Magenge on that occasion. Chance here. Looking for the shooting opportunity, Colin Sikombe, a bit slow, and Zesco react well. Motusi falls on the pass. Again, disappointment in that final third. The target, get Winston Kalengo, successfully so. 
Chingandu. It's Kampamba against Paul Banda, trying to go past the defender. Kampamba insisting. A bit of skill here. It's Kelvin Kampamba. Manages to whip in the cross, but Kupa Motusi is there. Ball is in play. Marvin Jerry will chase after it. But what an emphatic sliding tackle from Solomon Sakala. The referee doesn't like it at all. Yellow card for Solomon. I'm the sheriff. I'm the boss. And you're not going to do any of that when I'm here. Yellow card for Solomon Sakala joins that list that also has Colin Skombe, who made the whole list a jar. The tackle was there a touch on Marvin Jerry? That will be the debate. Sakala picks up a yellow. Johnny saw things differently. So referee perhaps uh, sending a message that anything that suggests dangerous play will not be tolerated. I'm not sure the rules are written like that, but uh, <laughs> the referee just didn't like that. Well, it can be interpreted that way. Throw in to Lusaka Dynamos. It's the Absa Cup final. Two minutes remain in the first half. Remember, there will be a victor, there will be a vanquished. Who gets the 600,000 quarter this afternoon? The 2021 edition. Well, the first one we've had under the new no more. Uh, fans not allowed in the stadium, and we've got a lot of people watching from the different homes, from offices, streaming. And we say to you, enjoy the beautiful game on your world of champions. And right now, it's uh, Zesco United and Lusaka Dynamos who will look to get into the halftime break without conceding. This is Kampamba. So clever a player, Calvinez. And he's taking on defenders and he's enjoying himself. He's brought down. Trouble on that flank for Paul Banda. It's a overtime that Paul Banda is working and gets a yellow card for being made to mark uh, Kelvin Kampamba. That cannot be nice, can it? Certainly not. The trickery and wizardry from Kelvin Mwanga Kampamba. He's like uh, a magician with a wand. Look at him. He knows fully well what he's doing. Backing up into Paul Banda. Pulls him back with a little bit of a dummy towards the end. There. Leaves him for dead. And Paul Banda can only try to emulate the UFC faithfuls by touching him. That's a judo move, I reckon. <laughs> Kelvin Kampamba, a darling to watch. On his day. He uh, will really punish absolutely. you. Absolutely. He's heaving. Mongo, that's your ball. Will he take Mongo, the free kick or will it be Ruseke? Minutes added. Looks like it's Kampamba's free kick. Headed out. Musaka Danimo still in the game. It will be a throw in. John Chinandu, captain. Takes a bit of his time takes a steam out of his own team momentum a little bit uh, affected here Jesse Wery will play it backwards to Silwimba who will have Faxon Nakapumbu what a 35 minutes we've had here in the Absa Cup final throw in to Saga Dynamos Jesse Wery referring to failing to control and I was, I was just wondering you know why we've not seen uh, and if Adams, the club president of Lusaka Dynamos, and I just realized we're in the month of Ramadan. Oh, well, how you bring matters into the game. Simply love it. But the referee brings us, remember, that at the end of the day,